What's up everybody? So recently I played a video game called Mechanicus, and it made me realize that I don't have any servitors in my AdMech army. I wonder why I don't have any servitors. So I jumped on Games Workshop's website, and ugh, that's why I don't have any servitors in my army. So I decided, maybe I'll make some of my own. Now if you've seen any of my other Kitbash videos, you know that I like to keep it simple. So we're not going to do any sculpting, we're going to try to do it as cheaply as possible. We're going to stick to Games Workshop bits, and we're going to try to stick to Adeptus Mechanicus stuff, so you don't have to have access to another army. But if you do need to get a hold of any other bits that you don't have in your collection, make sure you ask some of your friends, check your local game store, or as a last resort, you can use some of the bit sellers on eBay and other sites to get a hold of one or two parts that you don't have. So to get the project started, I'm going to take a look at the existing models, so I can figure out what kind of bits I'm going to need. It looks like there's four varieties, the servo arm, the multi-melta, the plasma, and the heavy bolter. And a couple other things that I took note of. They're all about human size, they wear pretty plain clothing, and their bodies have a combination of flesh and mechanical parts, especially the heads, and a lot of the non-functional arms have mechanical parts or metal bits sticking out of them. Now I know I don't have any bodies laying around in my bits box that I can use for this project, so I looked at some of the other kits that Games Workshop has available to find something that'll do the job, and I settled on these Gene Steeler Neophyte Hybrids. Now there are plenty of other kits whose bodies will work really well for this. You just want to find something that doesn't have very identifiable markings on it. And you should definitely check at your friendly local game store and see if they have any of these pre-owned. It'll be cheaper and you can support your local game store. So the first step I took with the Gene Stealers was to cut out and assemble the torsos and the legs, because that's all I'm really interested in in this kit anyway. And you want to put together as many of these as you want to make servitors. And next I noticed that the Gene Stealers have a couple of markings on them that wouldn't be appropriate for a servitor, such as this emblem, some hand grenades, and a pistol. So I just took my clippers and started cutting these pieces off. Now this kit was nice because most of these pieces actually came off really cleanly, but if anything's a little messy, take some sandpaper or a file and just smooth it out. But to be honest, the servitors are supposed to look a little janky and dirty anyway, so some rough edges aren't going to hurt the overall look, especially once it's painted. I also decided to remove some of these shoulder-mounted lights from some of the models, just to make them look a little less uniform. And next up, we're going to need some heads for these boys, so I'm going to jump into my bits box and look for any heads that look like they're part man, part machine. Lots of admech heads are going to work for this. In particular, the heads from the Catafron Breachers and Destroyers kit work really well here. That's going to become a theme throughout this video because that kit has a lot of really great parts to use for this project. But really, you can use heads from almost any admech kit. I even decided to use one of the Vanguard helmets. And on top of that, if you're using the same Gene Stealer kit that I picked out for the bodies, a couple of the heads from that even work reasonably well for this. So once you have those all together, just glue them in place on the bodies, and then you'll have the basic form of a servitor. Next up, we're going to make the servo arm for a couple of these guys. So what you want to do is dive into your bits box and pull out anything that looks like a claw, a hydraulic press, an actuator, a piston, a big wrench, anything like that. Use your imagination a bit. And if you're out of ideas, don't forget to go back to the Catafron kit because it has a bunch of these claws that'll work perfectly for this. You can basically just stick these on and call it a day. But after that, let's try something a little fancier. Take another one of the Catafron arms, and we're going to try putting on a claw that's a little beefier. So let's trim down the end of each of these parts. Do that by taking a very sharp scalpel and just applying even pressure to it. Try to get a straight cut. If the blade's sharp enough, it should go through the soft plastic pretty easily. And if your cut's not straight, then just take a file or some sandpaper and even it out. Then let's glue the two parts together, and we have a different variation of the claw. So let's do another one like the last one, with this little bracket piece, and it'll look like some sort of press or clamp. And after that I wanted to make one inspired by the servitors that we see in the game Mechanicus. They have this big arm that sort of hangs off of a pole that comes out of the side of their body, and they just use it to whack the Necrons. So I'm going to take this big clamp piece, I think it's from an orc mega knob, and cut off the end, and then I'm going to attach it to the shaft from one of the Catafron arms. And I want this guy to hang off the servitor perpendicular, so I looked around for a good bit, and I found one of the weapons from the Gene Stealer kit. I think it's the mining laser, and I just cut off the barrel. I trimmed it down a little bit, and then you can attach it to the other shaft, and glue it into the shoulder socket, and it looks pretty close to the servo arm we see in the game. Now when I attached this, I decided that it was actually still a little too big for the servitor, so I just took my clippers and trimmed it down a little bit. Nothing fancy, I just cut chunks of the piece off until it looked more like the right size. Again, don't worry about it being too messy, because once it's painted, you can barely even tell. Okay, now that the servo arms are out of the way, let's move on to the multi meltas Look through your bits box and see how many melta weapons you can find. I had one left over from some Primaris Eradicators, and another one that I got from a bit seller. I think it's a vehicle mounted melta. That one we're going to use basically how it is, but the Primaris one needs a little work. So first we're going to remove the top handle with the hand wrapped around it just by cutting it off. And we're also going to cut off the back handle, because servitors are too good for handles. 
And the next problem is we want a multi melta and this is a single melta. So we're going to cut the barrels off another melta gun as well as this one. And then we're going to glue the two on the end of the same gun so that it looks like it's a multi melta. You could also do this by cutting single barrels off of two different guns and then doubling them up. And then we're going to glue each one of them directly to the servitor's shoulder because that's how the weapons are mounted on the real models. And next we're going to make some plasma cannons. I just took the plasma weapons out of the Catafron box, and honestly I think they're perfect to use just how they are. Just attach the little piece to the side of them, and then they can get glued directly onto the shoulder as well, just like they are on the Catafron models. And the last weapon option we're going to make is the heavy bolters. Now somehow I didn't have any heavy bolters laying around in my bits collection, so I went online and bought some off a of bit seller. Now these guys are made to be vehicle mounted, and I don't really love them, so I'm also going to try to convert one out, out of a normal bolt gun from a Primaris kit. So first we're going to cut off the arm and the sling. And then we're going to try to scrape the hand off of the handle on this one so it doesn't look like somebody's holding it. And after that, I'm going to take this ammo belt, I think it's also from the Primaris kit, and we're going to trim the end off and attach it to the magazine well to make it look like this thing is belt fed. Now after I did that, I still thought it looked a little bit too small and not beefy enough to be a heavy bolter. So I decided to replace the muzzle brake with this bigger muzzle brake I found from a vehicle kit. I just cut that off as cleanly as possible, cut off the muzzle brake on the heavy bolter, and then attach the new one. I was pretty happy with it. It makes the whole thing look a little bit bigger and scarier. After that, we're going to attach this guy to the servitor's shoulder. And then I'm going to bend the ammo belt and twist it so that I can get it attached to the back of the servitor. Now, you can try putting a backpack on the servitor if you have something laying around. And it might make it easier to attach the ammo belt. But I just heated it up a little bit and twisted it around until I got it to connect. It was a little bit of a hassle, but came out okay in the end. As for the other heavy bolter, first I found this piece of a Necron gun and trimmed it down till it was about the size of the hole in the back of the gun. So I just decided to glue this over the hole to make it look like a more complete weapon. And then I also took a shorter ammo belt. I'm going to attach it to the bottom of the gun and then this one I'm just going to leave hanging. And once I'm happy with that, I also glued this one onto the shoulder. And that's your heavy bolters. Now one of the last things you definitely want to do before we can call this project done is we want to find something to use for the other hands for all the servitors. So again jump in the bits box and find anything that looks like an arm or a hand even if it's just the upper arm like you probably have left over from the Skitari kit because there's definitely something we can do with those. A good option are these arms from the Electro Priest kit. It's just kind of a plain arm and it has some skin showing which is cool because the servitors tend to have some skin exposed to contrast with the metal parts. You can just slap these right on the other side of any of the servitors and they're basically good to go. Now if you remember, some of the Games Workshop models, the offhands have like metal claws and bits hanging out of them to kind of reinforce the cyborg aesthetic. So let's see what we can do with that. Any other arms you have laying around, you can cut them off around the elbow or maybe even higher than that. And then you can just attach some metal bits to the end of it. You don't really have to do anything fancy with the joint because once it's painted it'll mostly just look like metal hanging out of the bottom of the sleeve. And I'm betting they don't have very sophisticated graphing technology anyway. So if it's a little messy, it's probably better. I used a couple of these cables that hang off some of the Skatari backpacks and just jammed them up in there. And I even made a little metal stump out of the end of the barrel from that Gene Stealer weapon we used earlier. This is one of the places that you can get pretty creative because this arm doesn't have any representation in the rules. So you can do anything from leaving no arm to a claw up to a full second servo arm as long as it's not going to be too confusing for your opponent. And once that was done, I decided that some of these guys still didn't look servitory enough. So I went back into my bits box and pulled out some more of these cables, wires, tubes, and other components that you find on a lot of the Admech models. And then I went in and just added some to a few of the models. Cables that attach from their back to the weapons or bits hanging down off of their waist. It can do a lot to just add a little bit more of a mechanical feel to these guys. Again, you can go pretty crazy with this. And it's definitely a good use for a lot of those extra bits you have laying around in your box. But once you've added enough extra decorations and you're happy with it, then these guys are more or less done. I made four with servo arms and two each of the other weapons. And I'm pretty happy with how they came out. So the next step is going to be to glue these guys down to some bases. Put together a base to match your army and prime them and then give them a quick paint job. And now you got 10 servitors ready to go for your next game. So that's it for the servitor kit bash. I gotta say, kit bashing is one of my favorite things to do in the hobby. And this is a really cool project because it doesn't really require any technical skills. You basically just need a handful of bits that you probably have laying around anyway, a knife and some glue, and you can put together some pretty convincing servitors. And on top of that, the whole project only took me a handful of hours. I definitely encourage anybody who's interested in getting into kit bashing to give this one a shot. It'll be a good way to learn some of the basic techniques and honestly just have a good time because this stuff is a lot of fun. If you've already kit bashed some servitors of your own, drop a comment below and let everybody know what some of your favorite bits 
kits were to use. I'd love to see if everybody else used those Catafron kits like I did, or if there was some other good stuff that I didn't think of. And also let me know if there's a, another kit bash project that you'd like to see me tackle in a future video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more, and thanks for watching.